Hello everyone welcome back to Shahi Comics, and from major One Piece character cameos to deep cut name drops, here are the biggest anime easter eggs in Netflix's One Piece live action show, and warning this video contains spoilers for Netflix's One Piece season 1, and there are dozens of anime and manga easter eggs in Netflix's live action One Piece season 1, from name drops to surprising cameos, given how incredibly vast the world of One Piece is. The live-action adaptation had plenty to take from, a Ichiro Oda created countless characters and locations for One Piece, which has one of the most unique world buildings in all of pop culture, while One Piece Season 1 only covered the first five One Piece arcs, the live-action adaptation successfully captured the scope of this world, and there were many differences between Netflix's One Piece and the manga, including missing characters and different arcs merging into one, however, the Netflix series still managed to be faithful to Oda's story, not to mention the small references that help bring the One Piece world into live action, from major character cameos to deep cut name drops. Here are 26 anime easter eggs in Netflix's One Piece live action series, and before we start the video, if you're new to our YouTube channel hit the subscribe button to more content reach you. And 26 is the young Mohawk, Shanks, Ampersand Smoke Rat Rogers Execution and younger versions of Mihawk, Shanks, and Smoker appear during Gold Roger's execution, those who are not familiar with One Piece would only get to meet those characters later in the live-action show, but those who know the story are aware of how many important characters were there for Roger's execution, in addition to his cameo as a kid at the beginning, Smoker also appears in One Piece's post credits scene. And 25 is the familiar One Piece ships at the beginning, and One Piece's very first scene introduces audiences to a world that would soon enter the Great Age of Pirates, before it cuts to Gold Roger's execution, a few familiar ships are shown, this includes Gold Roger's Oro Jackson and Mahawk's paddle boat. And 24 is the News Cool Bird. And Morgan's World Economy newspaper, which is distributed all over the One Piece world by the News Coup, appears a couple of times in the live action show, just like in the manga and the anime. The newspapers are delivered by birds, Luffy's introduction sees him asking a news coup, Bird to join his crew. And 23 is the war continues on Brock Coley Island. And in one of the newspapers carried by the news coup, Bird, it is possible to read War Continues on Brock Coley Island, the Brock Coley Island is located in the New World, and it appeared for the first time in One Piece Chapter 828, by then, the island had been at war for a few years. Considering One Piece's time skip, the timeline adds up. And 22 is the Binks Sake plays during Luffy's Shanks flashbacks. And a version of Binks Sake, a song that exists in universe in One Piece, can be heard in One Piece episode 1 Shanks flashbacks. One Piece chapter 486 establishes that Luffy heard Binks Sake for the first time from Shanks crew, therefore, it made sense to have it playing during the Windmill Village flashback. Binks Sake was incorporated in One Piece's OST, namely the Binks Brew track. And 21 is the Zoro fights the original Mr. Seven. And Zoro's introduction in the live-action One Piece show was very different from how it happens in the manga or anime. Instead of meeting the pirate hunter at Shellstown, viewers get to see Zoro in a fighting scene at least a day before he encounters Helmpo and Axe Hound Morgan. Still, Zoro fighting the Baroque works original Mr. Seven canonically happened, later in the manga, two members of One Piece's Baroque works discuss how Zoro killed a previous Mr. Seven when that person tried to recruit him to the organization. And 20 is the Mr. Seven design is based on Oda's doodle. And the original Mr. Seven never appeared in the One Piece manga or the One Piece anime, as Zoro killed him before Chapter 1, however, when asked to describe what the previous Mr. Seven that Zoro killed looked like, One Piece author Aichiro Oda drew a doodle, this doodle was published in one of the special sections of the manga, and it became the closest thing to a canon appearance of the original Mr. Seven, the live-action Mr. Seven design was based on this doodle and what was one of the most deep-cut One Piece Easter eggs. And 19 is the Zoro uses the Onigiri on Mr. Seven, and live-action Zoro is slightly more serious than anime Zoro, at least before the time skip. For example, Zoro does not call out his finishing moves in the live-action, as opposed to Luffy or Sanji, that said, 
Some of Zorro's signature techniques can be identified in the live action, for example, Zorro uses Onigiri as his finishing move against Mr. Seven. An 18 is the wanted posters for Cavendish, Foxy, Ampersand Django. And the wanted posters at Shellstown reference several One Piece pirates, some of those had a significant role in the live action, such as Alvita and Buggy, others, however, teased characters that have yet to appear on the show or villains that did not make it to the live action adaptation, there are wanted posters for Cavendish and Foxy, both of which only joined the story much later, Django, who did not appear in the Syrup Village episodes, also has a wanted poster. And 17 is the Luffy's Cotton Candy line references Chopper. And when Luffy first sees Buggy Circus, he asks if they have cotton candy, this throwaway line is most likely a reference to Chopper, who loves cotton candy, One Piece season 1 ending matches episode 45 of the anime, whereas Chopper debuts in episode 81, therefore, should One Piece season 2 happen, it will not take long before one of the most iconic straw hat pirates makes the jump to live action. And 16 is the Shibby Buggy appears in One Piece Episode 2. And One Piece Season 1 skipped the adventures of Shibby Buggy on the island of rare animals ahead of his encounter with Alvida. Instead, Buggy was captured by Orlong and ended up following the Straw Hats to Orlong Park. However, the Shibby Buggy design briefly appeared in live action at the end of Episode 2, still missing most of his body. Buggy looked exactly like he did in the aftermath of the Orange Town arc. And 15 is the Orange Town's Chowchu has a blink or miss appearance. And Chowchu, the dog from Orange Town, appears very briefly in One Piece Episode 2 after the Straw Hat Pirates save the villagers in the One Piece anime. The dog has a much more significant role. Overall, the events of the Orange Town arc were quite different in the live action. The buggy segment of One Piece's live action show takes place entirely in Buggy Circus whereas in the manga it takes place in the streets of Orange Town. And 14 is the Mirror Ball Island's Funky Bar is referenced in One Piece Episode 3. And when Zoro is trying to remember where he knows Clahadori from, he mentions the Funky Bar. The Funky Bar is located in the Mirror Ball Island, which appeared for the first time in One Piece Chapter 135 and was brought to the screen in the Django's Dance Carnival feature, therefore, while Django is not in One Piece Season 1, he is referenced at least twice the poster and the funky bar name drop. And 13 is the Kuro Cutting Luffy references post-time skip scar. And similar to the manga and the anime, Kuro and Luffy have a brief fight at the end of One Piece Episode 4, Luffy defeats Kuro, but not before getting hit by the captain of the Black Pirate's claws, the pattern in which Kuro tried to cut Luffy matches Luffy's chest scar from the post-time skip one piece. And 12 is the Luffy's failed Jolly Roger is exactly like the one in the anime. And Luffy's first Jolly Roger has the exact same design from the manga and the anime, the only difference is that, in the original story, Luffy comes up with a Jolly Roger for the Straw Hat Pirates after they meet Usopp, in the live action. Luffy makes the Jolly Roger before the Syrup Village episodes. And 11 is the Sanji mentions Logwadown's Bluefin Elephant Tuna. And Sanji mentions the Bluefin Elephant at Liberty's Kitchen in One Piece Episode 5. The Bluefin Elephant is a special type of fish that Sanji found in Logwadown, which had ingredients from many parts of the world. Logwadown should be introduced right at the beginning of One Piece Season 2, based on how Season 1 ended. And 10 is the Kong is mentioned on the credits map. And Kong, the world government's commander-in-chief, is referenced in One Piece's ending credits map. Kong became the world government's commander-in-chief sometime between Gold Roger's death and the beginning of One Piece. He was previously the Marine's fleet admiral. And 9 is the each One Piece title card references a main character. And each One Piece episode had a special title card, for example, One Piece Season 1. Episode 1 title card was designed after Luffy, whereas Episode 2 was designed after Buggy. Some of them also referenced specific designs from the anime, such as Usopp's nose and Sanji's eyebrows. Sanji's signature heart eyes were also referenced in one of the title cards. And 8 is the Noland and Jaya are mentioned. And Mont Blanc Noland, 
the admiral who went to the Grand Line multiple times and lived to tell the story, was referenced in One Piece Season 1, Episode 6, Jaya, the island where Nolan found a city of gold, was referenced in One Piece Episode 7, the story of Mont Blanc Nolan was first told in One Piece Chapter 286. And 7 is the Zoro's sense of direction is manga accurate. And when Zoro and Luffy reunite outside of Kai's house in One Piece Episode 4, Luffy asks Zoro how he managed to find him. Zoro says that he was not trying to find Luffy but was instead trying to get back into the house. Zoro getting lost could not have been more One Piece manga accurate. And 6 is the Jinbiz referenced in One Piece Episode 7. And when Orlong and Nasumi are talking about how the world treats fishmen, Nazumi says that one of the seven warlords of the sea is a fishman. This is a reference to Jinb, the fishman who eventually joins the Straw Hats. Jinb debuted in One Piece Chapter 528. And 5 is the fishman karate and water bullet technique appear. And much of the Orlong Park battle was not in One Piece's live action show, namely the underwater portion. However, some fishman karate moves appeared on screen. Kurubi who fought Buggy and Sanji before the Orlong Park episodes, also used the water bullet technique. And 4 is the Island of Rare Animals is referenced in the ending credits. And the Island of Rare Animals did not appear in Netflix's One Piece Season 1, neither the Straw Hats stopped there before the Barity episodes, nor did Buggy end up there after his fight with Luffy, that said, the Island of Rare Animals was referenced in One Piece's ending credits map. And 3 is the Mamu appears in the credits map. And Mamu is not in Netflix's One Piece Season 1, which makes sense considering how difficult it would be to bring this character into live action. However, Mamu is at least referenced in the show, The Giant Sea Cow appears in the credits world map. And 2 is the We Are, is combined with the One Piece OST twice. And We Are, the song used in the first One Piece anime intro, was combined with the live-action One Piece score twice. We Are can be heard at the end of One Piece Episode 4, when the Straw Hat Pirates were leaving Syrup Village. The song was also used in One Piece Season 1 ending, after the Straw Hat's barrel scene. And one is that the Revolutionary Army is mentioned in a newspaper. And when Kaya is looking at Luffy's wanted poster, there is a newspaper by the table. This newspaper mentions the Revolutionary Army, introducing Chapter 100, the Revolutionary Army is one of the most important organizations in the One Piece world and will play a significant role in the live-action show should One Piece return for more seasons. And we're in the end of the video now, and another awesome video I will meet you again, bye guys have a good day.